Howdy, Brian here. A little quick update. I've got a couple other little videos out on this uh, watch. Uh, uh, I'm doing this over real quickly because I've got a better camera now. It's got a little, give you a little better picture uh, idea of, a little bit better idea of what the watch really looks like because it's a uh, little better quality uh, HD camera I got on my cell phone here and so that's the basic reason for redoing it is to uh, <clears throat> show the watch a little bit better yeah comes in this nice little box this watch goes for about $175 which is a pretty good buy sorry this is an old Invicta but this is the box that comes in here comes with this little manual, nice little metal box, display box. Um, anyway, that's what it looks like. Smith and Wesson in there, and the watch comes mounted on this little thing. But this also shows you a representation of what the uh, because I can't get the markers to show this. Uh, that's what they look like in the dark. That's on the front of the little manual that comes with it. That's that's pretty much what the watch looks like in the dark. You'll notice there's the second hand's not illuminated. Uh, so real quickly, uh, this is an all stainless steel version uh, of a Commander type H3 Tritium watch. Uh, other brands, some of the other brands. This is very similar to the Tracer brand, but this is a Smith & Wesson. Uh, you can see the little Smith & Wesson emblem on there. And actually, my crystal's not that clean, but I've been wearing this watch for over a year now, and uh, there's no scratches in the crystal. The only thing is the band's wearing a little bit right there. See that? But I wear this watch every day. Like I've said in other videos, I can live with that. Not a big deal. You can get a new band for 30 bucks. If you, you know, but uh, I think it's a pretty good little watch for the money. You can't beat it. If you want to get a stainless steel Luminox, you know, you're looking at $300 more than I paid for this one. And uh, this is a good little watch. Water resistant to about 600 feet. If I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that, but it, it's uh, it's pretty deep. Let's see. Uh, 200 meters, yeah, so. I'd say that's 660 feet, something like that. Um, very accurate timepiece. This is basically... Uh, Parts, well, let's see, how is that? Swiss made parts uh, assembled in Taiwan. That's the story I get. So it's basically a Swiss made timepiece with uh, Taiwan assembly. And I've been buying other stuff, uh, and I'll tell you, Taiwan is actually uh, considered a much better place to have your assembly done than China. Even China's not too bad, really, depending on the product. But so anyway, this has been a real good watch. I got to tell you, for the money, I like I said, I've been wearing it every day for over a year. Absolutely no problems. Here's the back side of the watch. I don't know what good that'll do. There's a Smith and Wesson emblem on that too. It says H3 Tritium. And I think it says 660 feet or 200 meters water resistant on the back too. But see, it's got the uh, 24 hour time inside the dial. Oops, I'm getting that. That's this. I should have cleaned this. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I didn't clean this, but it's a gorgeous little watch. These are this little square here. These are the H3 Tritium. Um, but this this little dot on the diving bezel in the second hand does not illuminate, but, but all the hour markers in the minute and hour hand illuminate very well. It's got a screw down lock down crown. Just uh, pull the time out once for the date, all the way out to set the time. Pretty simple to operate. Uh, not too bad. It's an all-metal all watch, so it's it's kind of heavy. But I mean, if you want all stainless steel, that's what you're going to get if you have a, a well-built watch. So anyhow, this uh, I'm not going to let this go too long. If you want more specs, I've got a little more comments and stuff uh, on my other videos on this. Like I say, I just wanted to put a little update out here.
real quick so that uh, because I have a little better camera now my other video was uh, on one of the original Android phones it was about three years old and uh, it only had a one megapixel camera on it and this uh, phone here has a five megapixel so you can get a little better idea of what the uh, what the uh, face looks like it's a real pretty watch though I, you know it's really cool for military style watch very functional too so anyway pretty good watch 175 bucks I bought it at LA police gear very similar to the Tracer watch in its construction I think but uh, got a two-year warranty at LA police gear on this watch which is pretty good and uh, I was able to call the place that does the service on it get a hold of somebody on the phone it's pretty cool. Looked like uh, if I really needed to have something done, I'd actually be able to do it. Get a hold of someone. They were very helpful. Yeah. So anyway, that's the little Smith and Wesson H3 Commander. Thanks for watching.